Hello, good night everyone. It's night time in Indonesia. It's 7 p.m. right now. Uh, my name is Dasapta. Uh, I'm working at the Institute Technology Bandung as a researcher in hydrogeology. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to present my some of my thoughts in the theme that is presented by the Science Journalism Forum. Uh, currently, this video is pre-recorded uh, to uh, eliminate troubles in presenting this in live mode. So I will share my screen right now. Okay. Okay, this is uh, my slide. My slide will talk about probing local scientific journals, a how-to. Uh, it will be contains three parts. One is how open science could help journalists locate potential scientific journals or database. The second is to showcase open science repositories in Indonesia. And the third is how to avoid predatory journals in the global south. This uh, diagram, I drew this diagram from an Aina SP discussion uh, in June 2020. I was attending the, the focus discussion group to discuss about the problems on research in global south and how we can find the appropriate technology to solve the problem. Here we can see that uh, the researcher in Global South is commonly, commonly have uh, three problems. It's the skills, access, and uh, resources. And they also have another three problems interacting with and other stakeholders. It's about commitment, problems in communication, and policy. You can find the complete report on the link. So the journalists, as part of the stakeholders, always struggle to find a research, verify it, and telling it as a compelling story. How open science could help journalists is to uh, remember the principles of science. This sticker is designed by Melanie Eming, Melanie Eming and John Tennant, two of my friends in open science movement. They say that uh, open science is just science done right. So uh, in the future, we'll have to delete this word and leave just this word, science. So in, in Basic principle of science, no matter on which side are you, whether on the creator side or in the reader side, we have to maintain the integrity of knowledge, the collegiality, so everything will be shared and discussed among colleagues openly, and then we have to be honest, we have to be objective, and we have to be open about it. This is the very basic uh, principle of science. And for those uh, journalists that wants to take uh, stories into Indonesian scientific database, we have these two scientific databases. One is Garuda and the other one is OneSearch. Garuda is built by the Ministry of Research and Education in Indonesia. It contains uh, 1.2 million journal articles uh, coming from 7.1.7 uh, k publishers and 10 k journals, and the other one is OneSearch, built by the uh, National Library of Indonesia, Perpusnas. It connects uh, around 1.8 k institutions with toy point toy. 2.4k libraries and 7.7k repositories. It's a huge number. Uh, so this is a 
how do we showcase our open access repository based on the open GOR database Indonesia has 139 uh, open access repository we can compare it with the number of repository here which is one uh, 7.7 K so not all of those repositories are registered to the open DOR database and then this is not a database by ROROA, ROR map. Indonesia has 21 uh, open access repositories. Again, not all repositories that we have registered to this database. So if you don't see the previous numbers as big numbers, I don't know what will. Yeah. But we, as a in Indonesian ecosystem, uh, we have to admit we have uh, problems with repository. One is they all are either open access or with permission from the admin. So not all of those uh, repository are a complete open access repository. One must have permission or register to the university administrative to download or to view the files. Most repositories only contains thesis. Yeah, thesis, undergraduate, master, or PhD. And on each record, they only upload usually title and abstract. So all the chapters are hidden back office. Uh, people can only see the title and the abstract or they upload everything but in non-readable PDFs. So the documents are not completely fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reducible. Problems with journals. Now, journals has uh, another problems. Uh, Indonesian journals, uh, which means the publishers of Indonesian journals, only publish, not disseminate. So they only uh, take the manuscript from the author and then uh, do a peer review process. And then if the manuscript finally got accepted, and then they lay out the, the manuscript and then put it on the website. So basically they only publish it as PDF uh, documents, but they don't make um, more effort to communicate, to disseminate the the PDFs, the, the art journal articles, which is published in their journal to the society. So it's basically uh, put it online and then that's it. The type of articles are homogeneous, mostly original research. So it should be a completely finished research. And the data is completely uh, prepared and shared uh, in the paper and then analyze. Most publishers don't publish systematic reviews, data paper, or commentary, or other forms of, of manuscript. Although most journals are, are already online and publish articles in English, but they are now not qualified as international journals according to, to Indonesian uh, uh, promotion and, and staff promotion regulations. Only 71 journals firmly qualifies as international journals. Those journals are listed in Scopus and also you can view it in this link. So we have uh, another aggregator. Uh, the name is Sinta. Uh, the system aggregates uh, articles from, from authors all over Indonesia. So how to avoid predatory journals in Global South? This is the, the last uh, piece of, of uh, topic that I want to share. So in my point of view, we have to simply avoid blacklist. Yeah? Uh, for instance, the famous Peel's list. Use a predefined criteria built upon available standards. So we have several uh, standards of good practice in journals. Uh, uh, one of them is COPE, COPE, yeah. We 
can use those standards to to assess a journal that that falls through in our uh, field of science yeah so simply avoid blacklist there is an initiative at least one initiative that i know uh, that promote a pretty different predefined criteria to assess journals it's think check and submit you can click this link it's available in 41 languages including indonesian so the take home messages from my talk here is uh, we have the brain the indonesian ecosystem research ecosystem have the brain because we we graduated from schools some of us graduated from abroad yeah. we have all the the materials the brain materials to think of our research and then we have the tools we have the skills so the tools and the skills are relatively scaled to to the budget of course but we have the tools we're not minimum we have we have optimum tools we have optimum skills but with our inferior inferior feelings dominates our perception so uh, all of the regulations that relates to the research and uh, publication assessment or evaluation in Indonesia is all based on Western product Western standard yeah uh, most of the uh, the biggest uh, boundary the biggest barrier is language of course that is English and then the second take home message is we have the medium to go open access, but yet we also say they don't qualify to some say global standards. Yeah, so we have all the repository, we have all the open access journals. Yeah, uh, today the sum of open access journal from Indonesia is the the biggest in number, based on DOHA uh, database. But they don't, not all of them qualify to say that they are in global standards. And the last thing is we only publish, we don't disseminate. So we, we only put our work out there online in a PDF format, but never have any uh, ex extra effort to communicate the results to the society using a more light, a uh, lighter language and yeah, that's another problem so uh, another stakeholder such as journalists uh, common common uh, society and then the policymaker are not aware of this uh, research and they and also they don't have the enough skill to dig in uh, the research using the online tools so this is the last problem that we have we only publish we don't disseminate okay that's all uh, of my presentation it's only the part one i will pre-record as well part two of the presentation but it's not going to be uh, played in this in this forum so Good night, everyone. Uh, I might take some uh, questions from you.